Hello everyone. Welcome back to this video tutorial of Dynamics 365 Sales. In this video, we will discuss about uh, discount list and discounts. In the previous videos, we talked about price list, price list items and how to associate a price list with opportunity and based on that how the pricing of opportunity products will affect. Okay. In this video, we will see the continuation of that and we will discuss about a discount list and discounts. Okay. So basically, if you see discount list are useful whenever we need to give volume based discounts to our customers. For example, if a customer is purchasing a one quantity of a product, then we will not give any discount. But if they purchase a 10 quantity of product, then we will give certain percentage or certain amount of discount. And similarly, if the customer purchases 100 quantity, then we will be giving different kind of discount to that customer right so those kind of volume based discounting will be uh, set up inside this discount list and discounts here discount list is the parent table it's just for a placeholder purpose and below that we have discounts child table so where we will be actually setting up the uh, discounting okay and this discount list is of two types one is amount based and the other one is percentage based so amount based is something like uh, we will be giving uh, upfront discount of certain amount for example if the customer purchases 10 quantity we will be giving 1000 rupees discount so this is something we will set up inside amount based discount list on the other hand we have percentage based where we will be setting up the percentage value if the customer is purchases 10 quantity then we will be giving 5 percentage of discount and similarly if the customer purchases 100 quantity then we will be giving 15 percentage so likewise we can configure the percentage value and based on that the discount amount will be automatically calculated i hope this is clear for you with this we will move to dynamics 365 sales hub application and we will see how to set up discount list and discounts and how to associate discount list within price list items so that the discount list will be applicable to that opportunity wherever we are adding the price list into it okay now i am in dynamics 365 sales hub application to set up discount list i need to go to app settings and here under product catalog we have discount list so currently i don't have any uh, discount list in the system i will create a new discount list I will uh, name it like discount list for television okay so as we discussed earlier we have two types of discount list one is percentage and the other one is amount so if it is percentage we just need to give the percentage value and the amount will be automatically calculated the amount in the sense the uh, amount of discount will be automatically calculated within opportunity okay but if we set the amount then we need to give the discount value whether it's thousand rupees discount or two thousand rupees discount okay for now i will go with percentage based discount list and i will save this record so now my discount list record is ready and if i go to this related i will see discounts table so this is the child table of discount list this is the place where we need to actually set up the uh, discounting details okay so from here i will create a new discount and as I said earlier, this discount list is used whenever we need to give volume based discount to customer. Okay. So if the customer is purchasing something between 10 and 99 quantity, then we will be giving this much discount. And if the customer is purchasing uh, between 100 and 500, then we will be giving different set of discount percentage. Okay. So for that, we need to enter the begin quantity and end quantity. Okay. So begin quantity, I will give 10 here and end quantity 100. If any of the customer purchases this uh, product so, and then uh, and the quantity if they are asking for something between 10 and 100 then they will get 10 percentage of discount okay so i will save this record now one of my uh, discounting detail is ready okay in the same way i can create multiple records in the earlier thing i have given 10 to 100 okay now i will set 101 to 500 in this case we will give 20 percentage discount to the customer save and close so here you can see if the customer is purchasing uh, something between 10 and 100 then i will give them 10 percentage discount if the customer purchases a product of quantity between 101 and uh, 500 then i will give 20 percent discount okay now our discount list and the related discounts are ready now what we need to do right we need to link this 
discount list with a price list item only then the discounting will be applicable in opportunity okay for that i will open price list and i will open one of the existing price list so i will open this retail price list and after opening price list i need to go to price list items and open one of the price list item record so in this case we will use this product tv1 32 inch for this product already i have a price list item associated with retail price list i will open this price list item so inside price list item only we need to link the discount list so inside this lookup i will select the new discount list that i created discount list for television so this is just uh, for an example i named it like this so in for your business scenario you can name it accordingly okay now i just linked this discount list with my price list item and i will click on save okay now what we can do right we can go to opportunity and we can try it out so i have one test opportunity already i will open it to associate product i need to go to products tab here you know right i have set up this price list for uh, uh, sorry the, i have set up the discount list for retail price list okay so i will just select retail price list over here click on save and i have one existing product i will just delete this opportunity product for now and we will add our tv1 product here okay for that only we have set up the discount list add products and from here i will choose add okay currently i'm just giving quantity as uh, one okay now you can see if i select the quantity as one then you can see it is just showing the price 10000 which is coming from the price list but in our discount list we have configured like if the customer purchases something between 10 and 100 then we will give a 10 percentage of discount so i will just open this opportunity product and here i will just change the quantity to 10 after saving you can see that this automatically calculated this uh, volume discount for one piece it is giving me thousand rupees which is 10 percentage of this value and for the total you can see instead of 1 lakh it is showing 90,000 so this is something within the range of 10 and 100 so similarly if I select something like 100 then also I will get the same 10 percentage of discount okay but if I give a quantity between 101 and 500 then you will see 20 percentage of discount so here instead of 1000 you will see 2000 as a discount you will see that scenario as well i will enter 200 over here and click on save so when i enter 200 as a quantity you can see the volume discount is populated as 2000 which is equal to 20 percentage of this price per unit so this is something very useful whenever we need to give volume based discount to our customer okay i hope uh, this helps uh, you in understanding the discount list and discount concept of Dynamics 365 sales. Thank you.